Hello, I am in Streeter, and this is my first video out of Streeter. Um, if you don't know where Streeter is, it's uh, south of Ottawa, um, where I've done where I've done some uh, filming, and it's probably about a good 90 miles southwest of Chicago, and probably about 60 from Aurora. Um, it doesn't sit off of any interstate. Um, 39 is uh, about 10 miles to the west of here. And Interstate 55 is probably about another 15 miles to the east of here. So, and that sits on uh, Route 23. And where I'm at, this is the uh, North Point Plaza. And I came across an abandoned Save-A-Lot store. So, let's go take a look at this. I don't know when this closed, but... This is another abandoned save lot. There was one up in Ottawa, and that closed. And I don't think it was due to lack of business. It was due to something else. But anyway, here you go. There's the uh, a vintage save a lot sign right there. Yeah, they don't use that signage anymore, or on their, any of their literature or anything. So let's see if we can get a good shot inside of an abandoned save a lot in Streeter, Illinois. Oh wow, what is going on in here? Holy cow. Okay, and off to the right there's some Save-A-Lot carts. Wow. Check another. There you go, welcome to Save-A-Lot. There was another video I wanted to do. It was an abandoned J.C. Penney's, which is right next door to me. But now that's uh, filled in with a fitness place, so I won't be doing anything with that then. Golly, it's like beat up in there. There's some carts over there again. And there's like where there's some sign and signs signage and everything probably indicating uh, special items yeah I don't know when this closed I think it closed like probably 2012 or something my parents would know just kind of go around the building here I think this was part of I think this was part of JC Penney's too. Cause over here kinda indicates that there was an entrance here and it was probably the catalog entrance. And as you can tell by the cinder blocks here, that th this has been bricked over here. You can tell like where the uh kind of where it splits here. So, yeah, I think, I believe this was part of the J.C. Penney's. Yeah, J.C. Penney's here closed, like, a long time ago, back in, like, 2001. So. Yeah, North Point Plaza was uh, struggling for a while. Um, there was a Kmart in this uh, strip mall, and then when Walmart opened up back in like 2012 or 13 then the Kmart was pretty much forced out of here and then there's a uh, greenhouse Kroger that's sitting abandoned but I think some I think there's work going on in there in there and it's all boarded up so I don't know if it would be worth doing a video so when I come back around I'll show you like where the uh where that greenhouse Kroger is. It's been sitting empty for, wow, probably almost 20 years now because they built a new Kroger to the north of here. Okay, so over there, that's that, that was an old Kroger. There was a Super X next to it. 
to remember Super X, that was that that was always attached to Kroger's. And then over here was where the Kmart was. I'm gonna go in there and see if I could see signs of Kmart. And before it was a Kmart, it was a TG and Y, which was a variety discount type store. So yeah, there was a lot of good stores in this uh, strip mall here. And they're pretty much non-existent anymore. Well, they built a new, a newer strip like to the north. And a lot of the stores moved. There was like a music store and everything. So, all right then. So anyway, from the abandoned uh, Save-A-Lot. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel for a lot more content. God bless you guys. Continue shopping at your local businesses. Continue shopping at your local mall.